Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be showing today is the new bent plate functionality, which is available in Tecla Structures version 2016i. So here on screen, you can just see a few examples of some of the new shapes and things like that that we're able to make and create with this new bent plate functionality. So what this is, it's an all new bent plate feature. Uh, it's not an extension. This is built out of the box and allows you to create multiple and non-parallel bends. As well, as well as box unfolding. So the way that that works is you basically just model in the part faces with a gap between them. You join them with the bends with this bent plate functionality. You have the ability to control the bend radius and then these shapes will automatically unfold in drawings and in the CNC files. So we'll jump real quick here into the Tecla model. I'll just show you a few examples of how this would work. So for example here, let's say you had some ducting modeled in if you wanted to use our solid to plate uh, tool here or extension to come in um, and explode this or to create individual plates, then you could do that. So I'm just going to do that here with this uh, function here. And let's just go ahead and close this down. And then what I need to do is I need to ensure that there's a gap between these particular plates because what this bent plate functionality will do is it will create the radius between them. So using direct modification, this is a very easy thing to do. I'm just going to do one simple side of this just to show you how this would work. And then if I come back over here in the steel and I hit the drop down, then I have two options. I have the option to create bent plate using parts, and I have the option to create bent plate using faces. So I'm just going to use this first one. I'm just going to pick this plate, pick this other plate, and then you can see there that it's gone in and it's created uh, that radius bend for me. If I just remove this plate here for a minute, you can see this new blue line that's available here. And then I can click on this arrow and modify the radius. So let's say that I wanted to put in 0.75, for example. Then it will instantly change that radius there. Now I have that 3 quarter inch radius. And I could continue on around um, and create those. So you can create those manually just with using uh, the plate there. You also have the ability to come in and create custom components with predefined spacings or gaps here uh, within the model. And then that way you can just come in, model in the shape, define the gap that you would want. And then you can use this same functionality to uh, join these together. So let's say I'll click this plate and this one, and then I'll just click all the way around and just uh, combine all these. So what I've done is I've just come in and created this box shape and it's all ready to be unfolded. Um, I, of course, I can modify the radius just like I did before. So let's say that we want to come in and create just a single part drawing of this. I'll go ahead and run my numbering. And then I'm just using the bent plate settings out of the box settings here. And then I'll just click on this plate and you can see that it's highlighted there. And then it has the dimensions, it has the bending radius. And all of this is controlled just like normal bent plate from the unfold corner ratios, whether you want this to unfold from the inside bend, the outside bend, or anywhere in between there. Okay. One last thing that I'll show real quick is how to create uh, some spiral stringers uh, for your stair, for example. So I'm just going to come in here and basically just insert some individual plates here within the model that'll just act as a guide for me to be able to click. Um, here I can define the individual radius, I can define the rise, I can define all of that to make sure that I get the correct geometry. And then once I have that set up, just in, to ensure that this is going to work properly, I'm just going to come in and explode these components that were used uh, to create this. So I'll just explode those and now I just have just these individual plates. And I can go back to create the plates using the bend. So I'm just going to select this plate here and this plate and that will create the first part. And then I'll just continue on around to this next piece. And then there I've gone through and I've created this spiral stringer. Uh, based on the geometry that I can define here within this simple uh, custom component here. So there's a lot of new options and possibilities that are available. Again, this is available in version 2016i under the uh, plate option here. You have the create bent plate using part and create bent plate using faces. There's a lot of information about this on the Tackle user assistance. We encourage you to try it out. Send us any feedback that you may have. And we hope you enjoy this new development.